thanks to being here uh, with us for the amazing movie you present at La Semaine de la Critique. I really love the subject that was uh, deeply touching to see a movie like that. I'm very happy to be here and it's very nice to hear, hear your comments. Uh, my name is Mikko Myllulahti. I'm, I'm, I'm a director and filmmaker. I come from Finland. And Metsurin Tarina, or The Woodcutter Story, is my first film as a director. To me, it all started when I started to think of this concept of hope. I've always believed in hope, even though things might be sometimes bad. Because I live in the countryside outside Helsinki, and I have an old house, and I have some trees in my yard, and there was this one big tree that was blocking all the daylight. So I wanted to cut it down, uh, but I didn't want to do it myself. So I actually called this actual woodcutter. And I found this man who does, he was, he's a woodcutter. But I was so fascinated by this character because he was, he was this really, it was hard to say how old he was. He could be 30 or he could be 50. He was quite small and he had this really happy face. And uh, he seemed to have like a really hard life story, but he was very fine with it and he was still very optimistic. And I thought that, what, how can he be like that? And that was the inspiration. But then I started to write this, uh, this story about this kind of character. It turned out to be more like a fable or like a myth. And I didn't want it to be a realistic story. I wanted it to be more like a tale or, or, or a folklore. Uh, at the first screening audience, you say, uh, thanks for trusting in poets. Uh, what kind of poetry uh, you try to grab to this movie? That's imp important to say also that my uh, my background, because I mean, I, I'm a filmmaker and I went to film school, but before that I, I started out as a poet myself. That was my first art form, yeah. <laughs> was the poetry. And I find it fascinating, that it, especially the contemporary poetry, which seems to sometimes be hard, but that was so, for some reason I was really into that when I was young. And in a way, I think cinema and poetry, they have a lot of, lot of things in common. Was it difficult to uh, do a movie in those weather conditions, because you are always in the snow, and I just want to know what were the difficulties about that. I was born in Lapland, so I'm used to the, the, <laughs> the harsh winter. We, we wanted to, all the places to be like uh, real locations. We didn't want to kind of use any digital effect or something like yeah. that. We actually went up to the mountain. And the winter scenes, it was in January and it's in northern North Finland, so that's the coldest month. And it, I think that one day, we were luckily not shooting that day, but it was minus 35. So okay. it, it was really, really cold. In that condition, if it gets that cold, you really cannot even shoot because, I mean, nothing works anymore. Like all the equipment, they are just so frozen that they don't work. <laughs> even the radio doesn't work. But luckily, the other days it was better, so we got, got to shoot. Your movie is like unique. The subject uh, and the way you treat it is open to spirituality. The main question of the movie is, is there a meaning to life? Yes, I think in, in some ways this life in our planet is so unique. I mean, we don't even know if there is anything else in somewhere else. And sometimes if you think of that, you start to feel very lonely. But if there is no meaning, is, or is there meaning? Is this some kind of purpose? And I think it's the big questions that we humans have always asked. But I, I feel that we all have the questions inside us. I think it's, it's also in my film. Thank you very much for your time and for all the details you gave us uh, on your film. Thank you. Thank you. Question. It was very nice talking to you. Yeah. <laughs>